What's up, the squad? Back with another video. I seen the title was going down. Make sure you hit the like with that subscribe button. Definitely appreciate everybody tuning in and watching these reactions, videos. Um, <clears throat> make sure y'all go check out Doug X out. Um, definitely get to see this. Um, like I've said in the past videos, um, a lot of stuff isn't looking, you know, as, as well, you know, as it was um, before, you know, YouTube. Obviously, I, I, I had a day a couple days ago. I couldn't even release my videos to 10, 10, 30, and it was all messed up. And I deeply apologize for that. Um, based off of YouTube, didn't kept on saying processing. Um, they said it happened to other YouTubers, but um, it slowed me down. My videos aren't spreading as much as, you know, they were. But it's all good. You know, we're going to keep on pushing, staying strong, and staying positive, and we're going to pray. Make sure y'all hit the like button, subscribe, and let's get a video, y'all. New charges against Fonnie Willis are announced. We told you that they were coming in a few videos ago. And now uh, we're gonna put some meat on the bones. This is uh, State Rep Misha Maynor. We support her and mm -hmm. it's important to get the word out. So spread this link out to your friends, start talking about it on social media. It will push Misha Maynor's M-A-I-N-O-R. It'll push her name up in Google searches and help get the word out. Welcome to Doug in Exile. This is where the happy patriots are. As we expose just the constant corruption of Bonnie Willis, long standing. This is over six years old, but it's just coming out today because Bonnie Willis has her uh, her goons trying to discredit her and ridicule her and they'll do nothing about this. That's one thing that Bonnie Willis is good at doing at her job is not doing her job. State representative who used to be a Democrat, now a Republican, is suing Fulton yeah. County District Attorney Bonnie Willis. This is a state rep and uh, this is a yeah, law. Doing Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis, representative who used to be a Democrat, now a Republican, is suing Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis. This is a state mm. rep, and uh, this is a lawsuit you'll, you'll see in a minute here. They didn't quite deliver the papers yet, but it's coming. She says it has nothing to do with Willis prosecuting Donald Trump. Now, even though it has nothing to do with Donald Trump, uh, Fonnie Willis has something to do with Donald Trump. And we want to, I want to get her uh, impeached. Uh, you know, we can walk arm in arm. We can chew bubble gum and walk at the same time. So Ms. Maynard uh, has nothing to do with helping Donald Trump, but I do. And so I'm celebrating this case. I want to help fund this case. I feel like it's an all-in-one type deal, though. Like, it's not, it's not leaning towards, obviously, helping somebody with this and that. It, it will. But it's the simple fact of what's right you know it's one of those things of what's right and i feel like if it's more of that in this world you know in in any you, you know obviously you know fixing america in the united states things would be better you know so i hope she can put up some kind of a gofundme where we can help uh pay some of her bills with this audience let's help her out Tonight, outside the Fulton County Courthouse, and Ty, the DA's office says they have not been served with this lawsuit. Linda, that's what they told me earlier today when I asked them about it. I'm sure they've got it by now. They do know about it even when I spoke to them. They said the allegations are baseless and they are confident that this case will quickly be dismissed. Okay, so this is funny because these are legal people and before the papers were served, that is before they saw the charges, they already said these charges are baseless. How can you know? You haven't even seen them yet. So that, that's the default boilerplate answer. My client's not guilty, your honor. So they can uh, make up all the stuff. Nothing has been done with this case. They haven't even seen it yet. Let's find out from the facts of the case, because oftentimes, remember Fonnie Willis with Nathan Wade's, when it first started out, it was barely even know the guy. You know, I don't know what you're talking about. And then suddenly as the receipts come out, we find out that she lied and she's corrupt and a criminal. So she's already been discredited as the kind of person who tells lies. That's who she is. That is, she's probably entirely possible, probably lying here. You know, it's been over six years and I have been silent about it. State Representative Misha Maynard said during that six years of silence, she tried to resolve these issues behind the scenes and get justice for herself. Yeah, good luck getting justice for yourself in Fulton County. We're to know how this works. All the people in Fannie Willis's office who worked under her and were oppressed by her and ignored by her or run through human resources by her or who Fannie Willis put her attack goons on them, in this case, the commissioner, 
they all got the same response, not justice. And these are, these are true um, freedom fighters who are trying to help, say in this case, process uh, inmates that Fonnie Willis kept neglecting, which she promised she would do in when she ran for this office. She said since that hasn't worked, she stood inside the Georgia State Capitol Tuesday morning and announced her lawsuits against Fulton County DA Fonnie Willis, mm. Fulton Commissioner Marvin Arrington, and the Fulton County Ethics Board. Uh, Commissioner Arrington, and how bad is Fulton County's Ethics Board when you get sued? for being unethical. She said her first issue with Fonnie Willis is keeping inmates who have not been indicted in the Fulton County Jail for too long. So this shows what Fonnie Willis really thinks of inmates as far as getting them processed, you know. She literally them. isn't doing, like Doug said, like she's not doing, she's she's good at not doing her job. Delayed, I mean, that's just what it is. Justice denied. She's just letting them rot in that flea bag mm -hmm. of a prison, you know, where they, they stack up body counts of people dying of bed bugs. The Georgia General oh, wow. Assembly set clear guidelines for DA Willis requiring requiring her to indict individuals in custody within 90 days. Within 90 days and to quote Fonnie Willis, you know, no one's above the law. She always says that about Trump. And then here there's a clear written down black and white 90 days. And I only want to know, did you do it? And if you didn't, then bring on the charges. You know, even though many of these uh, guys uh, might be criminals, um, America doesn't just say, oh, you can do whatever you want with people sitting in jail. You can break all the rules. That's how you know that a system is corrupt. How uh, a society treats its prisoners is very important. And it's not important to Fonnie Willis. State Rep Maynard also has an issue with Willis getting involved in Maynard's stalking case against an ex. When Fulton Commissioner Marvin Arrington started representing Maynard's alleged stalker in a criminal case, Maynard says Arrington and Willis had inappropriate conversations about it. Yeah, and she probably recorded everything too, Fonnie Willis did. But, you know, this also shows how Fonnie Willis took the side with uh, Commissioner Arrington, who defends this stalker of Miss Misha Maynard. Where's the woman's rights issue? Where's the feminist? Mm. Where's the breakthrough, breakout feminist for the woman? Bonnie Willis is working with the, with the attorney who's representing the stalker. This is a stalker who, uh, who oppressed and followed and tracked and who knows what Miss Misha Maynard. And she just wants some relief mm. and Bonnie Willis and the commissioner are sharing personal messages, probably emails, probably personal conversations. And the word got out pretty quick that because Fonnie Willis is in the pocket of this commissioner. Word got out really quick that Fonnie Willis was to be sicked on Miss Misha. We know how she runs her office already with Miss Timpson and so many mm -hmm. others. This exactly. is crooked. You can tell when a person is off of herself and, and family, she's definitely off of herself just based off of like the, the 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 stuff that that happened with Nathan Wade, the stuff that's happened, like she's still, it's is is dang there sad and sickening how how people can be and how cruel people can be and how corrupt people can be. That's uh, sickening. Time though. to time to take out the trash, Fulton County. Take out the trash. Clean it up, because your reputation's in the dirt. It's garbage. Uh, I will lean toward Miss Misha Maynard and believe her over anything with Fonnie Willis, and this impugns the character of Commissioner Arrington. That guy's already going on my dirt list. Fraud, uh, just another apparatchik, part of the criminal, uh, the system, the corrupt system in Fulton County, Georgia. She never fought for me as a victim, a Fulton County resident. She was always in the pocket of the commissioner. So Fonnie Willis mm -hmm. has an opportunity to defend a victim, a female victim, of stalking, and she never came out and defended Miss Misha. Just for all the women's rights issues of believe all women, all that, just know that we call you BS because you will not actually go for someone who threatens your power structures. You know what I mean? It's like if it's Bill Clinton uh, getting hanky panky or Joe Biden with Tara Reid, they're like, what, what women's rights? What, 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 what women's issues? They only apply it to the polit a political opponent. And, uh, and I feel really bad for Miss Misha here. Uh, I hope we can give her some support. Maybe in the comments below, you guys can Definitely. say, send her a message that you'd like to help fight 
for Miss Misha and help get her messaging out because we need social media's help. You know, she's fighting against a giant, absolute Leviathan machine of Fonnie Willis, who has just seemingly endless funds and resources to conduct her BS and spread her word out on Twitter and Google. And retaliated against me after I contacted the U.S. Department of Justice. Commissioner Arrington said in a statement, the lawsuit filed against me by Misha Maynard is a baseless waste of time and resources. Simply the latest in a string of desperate efforts made by this individual in an attempt to extract public funds for personal gain. Uh, that's, that's, that's actually, that last sentence, this last part right here, Simply the latest in a string of desperate efforts made by this individual in an attempt to extract public funds for personal gain. Who did that, y'all? Who did that? Like, I just, I, I, I don't understand, like, stuff that come out of people's mouths. I, it's made I, I by don't. this individual in an attempt to extract public funds for personal gain. Uh, this should be taken like him saying, you know, my favorite Skittles is strawberry flavored. There's no, there's no uh, content to it. That's boilerplate, just, hey, this is how we get by in Fulton County. These are baseless allegations. Oh, of course they're baseless. I'm sure Fulton County is just tight as a drum over there. Commissioner Arrington went on to say that this case will be dismissed just like all the other attempts made by State Rep. Maynard. And Maynard said today that she's asking for a jury trial against Arrington and Willis, and she wants them prosecuted in their personal capacity, not uh, prosecuted uh, with the offices they represent. Yeah, in Fulton County, when you're the commissioner, you already know the case is going to be uh, dismissed because you've bought and sold all the judges. You've bought and sold all the seats of power in this corrupt, corrupt organization. That's why I can Sad. sit there and say, yeah, this thing's going to be dropped just like all the... Really, Boss Hog? It's the Dukes of Hazards. Boss Hog, I'm the law. This Somebody got to speak up and, and, and do something about it because that's, that's insane. allegation. Do, do, that Miss Misha just wants a jury of her peers. Isn't that interesting? She actually is ready to throw herself on the on an actual court where the peers will come in and judge. And Arrington does not want it to go and and go before his peers. I wonder why. Mm. Guilt. Make sure I hit the like button, subscribe. But definitely appreciate y'all tuning in and watching this video. That's insane, though. The whole with the commissioner with DA funding. It's 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 insane. It's corrupt. It's messed up. It's sad, you know. Um, and we're gonna we gonna push to get the we're gonna push to get the truth out. We're gonna push to get, you know, all these people that so so mad so 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 mad at, at what though? You know, so corrupt, so so messed up. We're gonna we gonna do whatever we can. And that's why I strive to to post these videos, to get these videos out here, to get this information out here, you know, because this is stuff that they don't show. You know, so definitely got to get out there. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, but definitely appreciate y'all. Catch y'all next one.